Hello there, in this video I'm going to give you the full tutorial on how to use Leonardo AI. First of all, head over to their website. After that, hit the start using Leonardo option or create an account option. What you're going to do is add your first name here and your email address. After hitting the count me in option, what you're going to do is repeat the same steps and hit the yes I'm whitelisted option. After opening Leonardo AI, you will be guided to the home page. Over here, you can see the fine tune models option. What fine tune models are uh, basically data sets that are trained to generate only specific kinds of images. For example, the photoreal option is trained to generate hyper realistic or photoreal images as compared to the Luna option, it is trained with Disney and cartoon style images. Right under that, you'll find the recent creation options. And it will show you the images recently created by the community feed. Under the home option, you'll find the community feed. And this is the overall community feed, including the recent creations. So if you scroll down here, you will find images that are generated by other people using these fine-tuned models. For example, this one right here. If you click on it, you can copy the prompt or hit the image to image option to generate images using this image. Down here, it will give you the prompt magic and the details about this in image generation. For example, if it was using alchemy or not. Down here, we can also see that this is generated by the Dream Shaper V7 model. If you want to generate with this model, you can hit this arrow button and it will take you to the image generation option. But we're going to do that later. After that, you can scroll down and find your personal feed. Your personal feed is basically the images that you've generated using Leonardo AI. Under that, you'll find the training and datasets option. Over here, you can hit the new dataset option to train your own fine-tuned model. For example, you can name it and give it some selected images to train it to generate only those types of images. Under this, you'll find the page dedicated to fine-tuned models. And over here, you can just select any one of these and start generating. The platform models are the models that the Leonardo AI developers have made themselves. And the community models are models that are made by other people or people in the Leonardo community. After that, you'll also find the place where it shows your generated models. You can go down to the user tools. The first one is AI image generation. Over here, you can enter a prompt and also a negative prompt. A negative prompt is basically just a list of objects that you want to exclude from your image. On the left of your screen, it will show you how many tokens you have. And you can select how many images you want to generate per generation. <clears throat> Down here, you'll also find the photoreal option and the alchemy option. What alchemy does is it just enhances your images by adding more contrast and minor details. But to use it, you will have to upgrade to their premium plan. Under alchemy, you can also find the public images option. If you turn this off, you can generate some private images that won't appear in the community feed. But you need to upgrade to a paid plan to keep your generations private. Under that, you'll find image dimensions. Make sure your image dimension matches the resolution of the fine-tuned models you're using. For example, Leonardo Diffusion has been trained at 1024 by 1024 so you can select that and it will generate proper images using that under it is the guidance scale this basically chooses how much your prompt has the influence on your generation the default number for it is seven under this is the telling option this is if you want to generate repetitive textures or anything else using leonardo under that, you'll find the image prompt option. Once you click this, you can upload your own images and use those as a base image to generate more images. Next, you have the AI canvas. 
what the AI canvas is. It's basically like an image editor, but powered by AI. For example, you can upload your image over here. From your computer or you can also use your previous generations but over here we're just going to be using a community image for now for example this one you can select your fine-tuned model in this ai canvas area after this what you're going to do is just drag your purple box and what this does is that it generates stuff on top of your image. You can also use it to expand your image or de minor details for it. For example, in our prompt, we're just going to add a car flying in the tornado. Hit generate and wait for it to create your result. It didn't really generate the image here as it might have gotten confused. So what you're going to do is just change it up a bit. For example, make your render density all the way low or all the way down and then hit generate again. Upon successful generation, it will give you three to four images that you can select if you generate your image properly. But we can move on to the next option. On the right here, you can select your canvas mode. For example, image to image, sketching, text, image, or in paint slash out paint. Down here, you can select your image dimensions. You can also select aspect ratio to anything that you like. And if you think you messed up any of these, you can hit the reset to defaults option. Next is the AI texture generation. This is a very complicated part of the Leonardo AI. And it basically allows you to generate textures on a 3D image or on a 3D file. You have to upload your 3D file first and then it will generate a specific texture using your own prompt onto those files or onto those renders. That sums up the video. Thank you for watching and goodbye.